effective ways to discourage offenders from returning to the life of crime after they are released. They are introducing them to music. A host of established musicians visited the centre to give offenders messages of hope. This facility opened its doors in 2010. Ever since, it has introduced a number of positive initiatives to the offenders, including a book club. The latest, a music initiative, was organized by an offender. In this center, there are a lot of youth and there are a lot of talent here. And these guys, I've been interviewed some of them, and then I've realized that these guys are, are running short of uh, mentors. Mentors and then people who are good in production so that they can produce their music and also to deviate from the, the, the issue of drugs and crime. Music icons paid them a visit to see how they can assist them. There's a lot of talent here. It's nice, it's vibrant, it's, it's vibey. You know, when people were doing it for the love. I would hate to do something that starts and ends. And especially when, when it's something that gives people hope and it, it allows them to rethink who they are, what they are, and what they would want to do with their life, you know? So I would, I would say when it comes to the artistic side of things, I would really like to see one, two of them recording a, a single at least. However, the center is not without any challenges. Allegations of ill-treatment and abuse of inmates by officials have emerged, something that has been denied. You cannot have 2,700 people and you won't have negative people. But I believe the few that we're having is just, some, is just a few uh, of offenders and, 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 and certain people in the media that want to create a negative image of the center. Talks are underway for talented inmates to work with established musicians and record labels. Ulang Mudupe, SBC News, Kimberley.